what do you, um, having gone to full cell, like, what do you think about the, like, what was your degree in? Um, it was audio engineering. I mean, how do you feel about the whole process of full cell? Because I know it's, it's some bread to go. Yes. And I know some yes. people that have gone that, you know, make much more coming uh, out of the street experience than they do from the actual classroom. So, like, how do you view it? It, dep it depends on the person. I wouldn't. I gotta put this nicely back to Okay, let's see. Um, it depends really because, see, I'm from a small town. A lot of Oklahoma is small town. You know what I'm saying? Um, so if you don't stay in a major area like Atlanta or, 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 or LA or, or Chicago or New York and you're not going to that area because when you get out of Full you have to intern, which means you're gonna work for free for about six months. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't live there, you know what I'm saying? How you gonna survive? Pretty much. Because when you're in the studio, the hours can be from eight hours to eighteen hours. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get all those hours away and all your stuff, or else they'll get ready to get the next person in that's ready to grind harder. You see what I'm saying? So I wouldn't recommend full sale to anybody that stays in a little town that doesn't know somebody in a big town to where you can stay with them and live for six months without having any work. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah, you 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 can go to school there and learn, but if you can't make any major moves with the amount of money that you're paying to go there for, I mean, bro, the payment is paying next to the loan back in my child's bro. It's, it's up there. It's, it's up there. I'm paying a lot of money to pay off that thing. So do you think you would fare better by just getting the program and learning the program on your own? Well, it depends like, on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to go major, then no. If you're trying to start your own studio, or you're trying to start out as a, if you're trying to be a producer, then then yeah, because uh, you can move to other, I mean, you can not move, but you can go to other cities and shop the beats around, so you can get your day, you know what I mean, without paying, well, I, don't, I think it's like, what, 140000 to go there now? Back when I was, it was like 30 or 40, yeah, it's, it's crazy. I think with the field of audio engineering and stuff like that, at full sale, how much, uh, how much focus do you think that hip hop production gets within that school at Full Sound? Um, alternative, a little more. Hip hop, probably the second, and everything else under that. Because, I mean, that's mainly what's going there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of alternative kids there. So, it's a lot of hip hop kids. What kind of thing do you mean by alternative? Like, as far as, like, so just a, give more example. Like a Maroon 5 type of. Uh, 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 um, it's like top 45. Kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock pop. Rock pop. Yeah. I mean, it's also where land on. I think that's kind of big. It is. Yeah, a area. lot of rich kids in <laughs> Yeah. But I mean, the school is great. You get hands on with all the, the major equipment that's out there. Now, you can even get Pro Tools certified. Back when I went, they weren't even really sweating Pro Tools too much. But now, you can get Pro Tools certified, which a lot of major studios look at that. You know, if you Pro Tools certified, then they want you in their head. That's the first thing you must do. Can't you get certified? Like, I know they have different classes, yes. different you, places. Uh, it, you can get it uh, in different classes, and you can even do it online now. And you're Pro Tools certified. you got to pay for it, of course, but it's not as much as it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's all on your learning curve. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you can do it that way, too. Like, I'm from Orlando, uh -huh. and I have, like, a lot of friends that went through full sale as well. Uh -huh. And we went to, like, knew that statistic over like in UCF like if you go to one of these shows like a local show uh -huh. and you just like put your arms out and swing around like I think it was like like five out of the ten people that you're gonna hit were probably graduated from full sale and can't do anything with what they graduated with. <laughs> exactly. I got a good friend here yeah. that is uh he does like the shading in animation went to full sale learn that he's waiting tables. Yeah it's like it's <laughs> awesome <laughs> Awesome talent, but it's like what sets you apart, what makes you stand out. Like everybody in that school is, is doing their thing and doing it, or should be doing it passionately. Most people I've met are really right. involved, but it's like, what do you think is kind of unique and, and standing out in production now as far as like style? And um, to me, what's standing out right now is, is people are, are starting to stray away from like the, uh, the, 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 the pop and hip hop. The crazy music. I think all of that is probably going to fall to the side because there's no longevity in that. Um, everybody is doing it because it's making money right now, but no one really has any skills as far as their production or as far as what they're saying. Um, 
And there's never been any really good longevity in that. The only longevity really comes to the people that learn, uh, it, it, you know, the, the whole genre. You know what I mean? The people that are more musical, understand, have a, have a good music background. You know what I mean? And really, I mean, like, like, your, uh, like your soldier boys. I mean, I'm not hating on him because, he's, you know, he's, he's making money. He's doing what he does. But, I mean, what is he doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's, he's making club music. And, and a lot of these cats that got these club hits right now, you'll hear them maybe now, maybe their second time around. But after that, I mean, that's it. It's like, bring the next person on. You know what I mean? And the cats that are really learned, like Kanye, for instance, um, he's, a, he's a lot different than he was back then. He's, he's really learning how music was recorded back then, and he's starting to take advantage of that and use it now. And I mean, his, his, his record sells off the chart now. And it's not just here in the US. Um, he's got worldwide music, you know what I mean? And once you start getting the love from, from across the states, then uh, you're straight. What do you do once, once you pick out your sample, once you run it through your things? I mean, what, what, what comes next, man? What do you do? Um, all right, after I pick out the sample, and everything goes in, then it's time to, to mix it. Um, with mixing, it, it involves several different things, which, um, like I said before, adding the effects, uh, which is EQ and, and, and compression and, and, and reverbs, getting everything on a balanced level. Because a lot, of, a lot of the times, like a lot of new producers come to me and they, and they um, ask me, like, you know, mix my music for them, because they really don't know how to do that. Um, and it's, it's not complicated, but you have to have the ear for it. If you don't have the ear for it, then you, you're not going to be able to do it. Like, I've met a lot of talented producers, but that doesn't mean that they're talented engineers. Like, they can't mix their music. And, you know, it, it just requires uh, a lot of patience. Because, I mean, you're, you're listening to the same parts over and over again. Like, say, I'll, say I got, like, the, the kick, the snare, just the whole drum section open. And I want to hear how the strings sound. Okay, so I'll, so I'll EQ the strings because the strings may be a little basic. So I want to bring up the highs so that the clarity of that is 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 more present than the than the, uh, than the lows of the drum. You see what I'm saying? So you have to kind of go through each thing and kind of sam uh, I'm sorry, solo and, and, and mute things to, to see what sounds good, and then you piece it all together. It's kind of like a puzzle. You see what I'm saying? And um, you know, once you get to that point, then you listen to everything as a whole and kind of bring levels up and down from there. And, and that's pretty much what mixing is. And then after that, I even take it a step further. Um, with uh, programs now, they have that that I actually master, uh, master your mix. And what a master is, a master pretty much takes like, like say a song has, or say an album has like 10, 10 songs on the album. The mastering process of it will add just slightly, not a lot of EQ, some reverb, compression, and some limiters here and there to bring the sound on every single song the same, so it's all at the same level on the CD. So like, one song is louder than the other, or, or one song is you know bass heavy and the other isn't. If you listen to a lot of local CDs now that you know some cats can't afford uh, mastering, you'll 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 see the difference between them and and, and a CD that was made you know, in the studio. Um, and they made programs now that can do that. Sure, it's not going to sound as good as a mastering house to where they have all the separate gear that's required for mastering, but I mean, it can get you there. Like, I'm not complaining. This is like the mother, the mother. So, in this beat, um, on this one, I actually make the, the like, you hear the synth, synthesize some of the effects and stuff. I actually did that first before I did the beat. Um, which, I mean, it's, it's really, uh, some producers like to make a beat first and then, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the music. Me, I'm crazy, so I, I do whatever feels good, you know what I'm saying? I'll make the beat, I'll start whispering on the track and make a beat out of that. I just like some crazy stuff, just to, just to dippers. Don't cater to everyone as far as making like up north beats, down south beats, and west coast beats. There is a, a huge difference. From, from the three, and, and even even um, Midwest kids. Um, me, I've never had that problem. I, I like hip hop, I like music, period. So, I mean, what sounds fresh, I'm gonna do it. You know what I mean? I, I never stuck to, to doing one thing because it limits you and it limits your money. And I like money, so I don't like limitation. 